Hey everyone, this is Angel from Apex Gaming with a brand new video for Resident Evil. And today I will show you my gameplay for the SSS rank in the castle stage for the Mercenaries Arcade mode in Resident Evil Village. I will let the gameplay run and do commentary on key moments along the way that make the difference in terms of inventory, time management, or triggers. There are timestamps in the description of the video and YouTube player as well in case you need them. But let's start with some shopping tips. All four areas of the castle can be completed using only the shotgun. So sell everything except for your shotgun ammo on every round with the Duke. I usually use the SIG-12 shotgun as my weapon of choice, and every round I will upgrade it focusing first on power, then rate of fire, and finally reload speed. One moment, please. Okay, start in the first section, sprint until you see the first open area. You're going to ignore the first heavy armor dude, grab the shotgun ammo on top of the barrel, and go ahead and destroy the time bonus. Now keep following the path and you will see a guy lying here. This is where you can start the combo. Sorry for the potato aim. In this part there are two mines that can be sold for good cash. And there is one dude hidden here by these barrels so try not to miss him. The red bar in the room is going to be used to knock the armor of the dude from the beginning, so don't pop it yet, just make some time while he gets here. Okay, now don't forget the ability orb hidden in this cell. And when deciding which abilities to choose, I always go for speed first, then power, and finally ignore completely health recovery. Now, don't forget about these shotgun shells here. You gotta take this shot as soon as you can to keep the combo alive. Now, I'll shoot for these bars to keep the combo alive because the next guy is too far away if you ignore this one. Knock these three dudes and then do a 180 to get the ability orb. And on this final room, remember that there's always a guy here to the right, so kill him first to avoid losing valuable seconds. And that's it. 19, combo complete, time bonus 1.5. Next shopping round, sell everything except for the pipe bomb and boost the power and fire rate for the shotgun. I will. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. A good deal. If I start. Starting, go straight down the hall and through the first door, go to your right to get the first blue orb. Magic Magazine is a great option to save money and upgrade on other parts of the shotgun, so totally recommend it. Don't miss the shotgun shells on top of the table. There's one easy to miss dude upstairs. Go to the mask section for the yellow orb. The thing that I usually do while breaking the orb is to do a 180 as soon as you press the button for the action, it then doesn't need to be facing the orb for it to actually break. I go back to the beginning spot using the other corridor because it just feels more natural with the flow of the run. Once you are back here, there will be a lot of werewolves coming through the main gate. Be very cautious because you need to return as enemies will be spawning back here. And while you're dealing with these werewolves, don't forget that there is a yellow orb to your right. Go 
Okay, time to go back. Then go back again. The magic number of enemies that you need to have before you sprint ahead to the next section should be 32. I miss one back inside, but sometimes it's better to keep going instead of stopping to get the complete combo set. The bigger the combo, the bigger the combo bonus and the time bonus. This is always a tight run to keep the combo up, so as soon as you see the red barrel, pop it up. Then finish off with the group coming out of the stairs. And there it is, 40 enemies, 40 combo, and 2 times time bonus. Attention if you see the Corpse Composer ability, take it, this is a huge time saver. Shopping round number 3, I'm selling everything except the pipe bomb for area number 4. And buy it I will. Aha. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Start. Starting in the kitchen, you need to clear three enemies. There's shotgun ammo to your right before heading into the dining room. Now blue orb. Sometimes the abilities are not great, so pick up what is better to your playstyle. And remember, time doesn't count while you are selecting. Instead of going to the courtyard, head back to the main hall. There are more shotgun shells on top of the sofa. Now destroy the yellow orb to trigger one of the sisters and clear the room. Your lucky number before heading to the courtyard should be 13. Cross the courtyard and double turn to your right for the yellow orb. Do a 180 to funnel the werewolves and flying dudes in that area. Rush to the upper hall, but don't forget the blue orb. Out of reach is a great option for making those long shots count, so go for it. Now, I'm going to the stairs and kill the first dude and immediately go back to the upper hall. This way, there will be another guy on top of the stairs that will be waiting and he makes the chance of chaining the combo a lot easier. Don't forget the blue orb. Shoot the archers from your side, don't wait until you get there. Yellow orb is hidden inside the room. Now let's go get that guy we left alive. There is. You should have 41 enemies defeated by the time you enter the boss room. Uh, 
and there is area complete 48 enemies 48 combo and two times time bonus last shopping round again sell everything except for the shotgun shells and the pipe This should be enough. This is all an investment. Aha! Thank you for your patron. Starting this area, kill the three ancient dudes, then the robo guy, and head downstairs. Now, I'm gonna pause right here because the doll is really important for this run. The best case scenario for this is that you kill the doll while she is inside the castle. So, this shot that I'm going to miss is very important. Take it as close as possible to then try a second shot. It is really difficult, but this is a key moment for getting a high combo. After killing the ancient dudes, a robo guy will come from the right and another one from the stairs. Make sure you kill those three before climbing back the stairs. Now climb the stairs to the left and, if you can, leave any enemies behind. Take the corridor to the left and watch out for the werewolf. The doll should be at the end of the hall. You can try to do a long distance shot followed with a close one, depends on how good your aim is. The best scenario is here to destroy the doll before she leaves because that triggers some extra enemies in the balconies, but this was not the case, so make your way down the stairs. Check the mask section for extra enemies that may have spawned and take the corridor to the left to go to the castle entrance. Now here's another tricky part. Prepare that pipe bomb that we never saw to the duke, throw it right away before the gate. A couple of armor guys will drop and the explosion will make them one shot. You need to follow up with a shotgun shot at ASAP, because the combo counter can drop here very easily. Next tricky section, kill the two blue birds. Then 180 for the two werewolves and back down the road. Now kill everything that is on flames before you head down the stairs against the armor guy or shoot the doll near the crops. You should have around 43 enemies on this point and that should be enough to get a good combo score. Now you can add some extra baddies by returning to the main hall to kill all the enemies that spawn by the doll that you have killed right now. This is why it's important to kill the doll while inside the castle and not outside.
Now, go inside where the armor enemy was for an extra yellow orb and you are done.